Hi, I'm Janine Strawn and I'm the Director of Green Design Solutions. I design solar passively designed homes, both on grid and off grid. The one that I'm about to show you is an off grid home. Come along for the journey as part of Sustainable House Day. So with this home, it's in Tambo Crossing. It's in country Victoria. It's a contemporary family home. It has a thermal rating of six stars, and that was given a couple of years ago, but this is an off-grid home. And it's been designed to maximise the um, incredible scenery that occurs around the Tambo Valley. As I said, it's off-grid. It features granite rock clad ground floor. All the granite has been extracted from, this, uh, from the actual site itself. It sits on 270 acres of farming land and um, forested areas. It's been in the, my client's um, uh, family property for over 70 years. And he got sick and tired of actually running um, the tractor over these granite rocks, these floaters. So he, deci he decided that when he wanted to build his family home back on this property, that he would actually use the granite rock, the pink granite rock. It's also thermally broken double glazed windows. It has a lift well in it for aging in place. Um, it has solar hot water evacuated tubes as well as a wet back system. And also it's exposed concrete slab and timber flooring. It has both north and west facing living areas. And you'll see why in a few minutes. It has zoned living areas and massive rainwater tanks. Well over hundred liters of rainwater tanks feeding into the home. So here is a, um, obviously an overview of the house. Um, the solar panels up on the roof, we've got 10 kilowatts on the roof. Battery storage is inside um, a dedicated storage area within the garage, which is ventilated. This is um, the west face. And as you can see, they've got views to the east. They've also got views to the west, uh, incredible views to the west down the uh, Tampa Valley, which is what they wanted to achieve and they've got really great views to the north and to the south. So they're pretty spoilt with, um, you know, with opportunities, but they really wanted to maximise the views down the valley. Now, these are only just supporting rainwater tanks. The actual bigger rainwater tank is about um, 800 metres away across, across the land, and these it's gravity feeding these because it's at a higher point um, from a very, very large shedded area. They've also obviously got a swimming pool uh, for, you know, for their family and friends. And this is the result of the beautiful pink granite uh, stone that were floaters uh, surrounding the site. They were lucky enough to come across the, one of the stonemasons who does a lot of work up at Hotham Heights. And he came down over his quieter period for a number of months to actually fit every single cut and split and fit every single rock in place. It's a really incredible finish and um, my clients were just so ecstatic about the end result. And also what we've got here is we've got cross flow ventilation occurring through the house. And so as you can see, as you enter the front of the house, you can see directly through the house and down the uh, valley of the Tambo River or the Tambo Valley. It's a really stunning view. And that's the view. So they can not only uh, look out to and see their grazing animals across their property, but they can also, you know, see what happens, you know, along the highway, the Tampa Valley Highway and the river, and, you know, taking advantage of this incredible view. So because these are west facing, veg west -facing windows, we had to have a really low SHGC, solar heat gain coefficient, applied to those particular windows to help reduce the solar heat gain coming in from the west setting sun, which is obviously extremely hot in the summertime. Um, and certainly that's uh, been a significant benefit. Uh, it's, this is what has also contributed to us only achieving a six star as opposed to a seven star. Uh, building, but I think you can um, attest, you can probably also agree that it's quite an extraordinary view. 
We've got ceiling fans in every single living area and in every bedroom. They're a reverse cycle, of course, so they can be um, turned on you know, when required. We've also got some really great uh, north facing rooms, uh, uh, windows, I should say, to bring in that winter sunshine deeply into the home in the winter time. We've got timber, uh, timber flooring upstairs and we've got exposed concrete slab downstairs. So here's the um, other north windows into the family, into the uh, family in the kitchen area. We've got a lot of um, north facing windows downstairs as well. And this is the um, uh, dining kitchen area, living area, where as you can see, it's incredible views in all directions. So this is the view out to the to the south, obviously to the west. They're, they want to age in place. Uh, they are in their late 60s and early 70s. They want to be there for the long, for the rest of their life. And as a result of that, we put in a lift well. We designed a space for a lift well because they weren't really committed to putting a lift in immediately. But uh, luckily, um, before the house was constructed, they decided that yeah, a lift would be the best option for them for moving forward into the future. We've got exposed concrete slab downstairs. And as you can see, the beautiful north sunshine coming deeply into the house um, through these thermally broken double sliding, um, thermally broken uh, double glazed sliding doors. So thermal mass uh, such as this in the exposed concrete slab absorbs the heat from the solar radiation coming through the windows stores it during the day as nighttime temperature cools, um, the stored heat from the slab uh, um, emits back into the room. We've also got a wood fired stove here because they've got an abundant supply of wood, but they've also, um, we're having a, a wet back put on that also for additional um, hot water service, hot water heating. This is their main bathroom. This is a view to the south. Uh, which I think you can also probably appreciate is beautiful. Uh, Step-free um, showers in all of the in all of the bedroom in all of the bathrooms to avoid tripping hazards. Beautiful colours of the cabinetry, really blending well with the timber floor and also giving that gorgeous um, you know hue. This is the view to the east. So they wake up to a lovely east rising sun in the morning with the balcony off there. So the east uh, windows are the same as, treated the same as the west windows with a low solar heat going coefficient on those, um, on those glazing. North facing view. This is their ensuite. They wanted to have a separate access so that um, when they're working outside, they don't want to be traipsing mud right through the house and then going into the shower, you know, to clean off. So we've actually got an, a separate access there for them so that they can come in directly from outside and directly into the ensuite. You can see a better view of where they're located. Quite extraordinary. So there's a it was um, a beautiful place to, um, to design. Uh, I met uh, these clients when they came to see my house that I designed and live in, uh, lived in and also had opened for Sustainable House Day for many years. Um, they came through my house and then they rang me up only a couple of days later and said, you know, can you please design a house for us? Which of course I was pretty blessed and you know, thinking that this is an incredible site. And they were burnt out. The surrounding area was fully burnt as part of the East Gippsland fires in the 2019-20 summer fires. And luckily, um, they weren't in, their property wasn't impacted. The house wasn't impacted. Of course, stone won't burn in those sort of fires. However, there is still some timber, um, timber cladding up at top as well as colour bond, which was fine. Uh, but the whole property around them, you know, was burnt out. And fortunately for them, you know, they were they kept safe, and they only lost. They didn't lose any stock. They just lost some fencing, as well as obviously under significant stress um, with the severity of those fires. 
but uh, yeah, they absolutely love living there. And uh, of course, they've got no bills to pay now because they're completely off grid. So if you've liked um, this, this house, and also I've also got a few others uh, on display as part of the virtual sustainable house tour, um, please have a look and see what else I've got to offer.